Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this rock, Florida Lee rock, inspired by Mardi Gras, since it is Mardi Gras week. And the first thing I did was I, I researched and found a design online that I liked because there's several different patterns for the Florida Lee. I just found one that was simple enough to draw out and would fit on my rock. And the main thing with drawing out the design, you just want both sides to be even. It doesn't have to be perfect, just where it looks even to the eye. Hopefully you can kind of see how I'm drawing this out. I didn't do it in the charcoal pencil like I usually do. Um, my cat knocked over my pencil jar, and I don't know where my... <laughs> it rolled off somewhere, so I have to find that. So instead, I'm just using just a number two pencil. And you can see it. I'm doing a lot of erasing and tweaking the design to get it symmetrical. So now that we have the design where I like it, I'm going to go in and outline the whole thing in gold. Now I'm using rose gold because I, I don't have, I guess I'm out of just regular gold. But if I had regular gold, I would have used it. I'm just using the rose gold, which is going to be fine, because in the end, I'm going to actually go over the outline in a gold glitter. So it, it, it doesn't really matter. And you don't really have to worry about your lines being perfect. You can always just take your background color and clean up your lines. So none of this should stress you out. This should all just be enjoyable. A whole an enjoyable process. <clears throat> Excuse me. I try to keep my painting process as stress-free as possible because if I don't enjoy it, then I don't want to do it. So here I am. I'm taking the black, my black background paint and cleaning up my lines. I'm also removing some of the pencil marks and eraser marks if I have any of those. So I'm taking this bigger brush. This is where I'm erasing some of the pencil lines and eraser marks. Really on the inside of the rock, you, or the inside of the design, you don't have to worry about it so much because we are going to go over it with paint. But I just thought it would be better to just try to keep the design as clean as possible. Now here I've got my line. The horizontal line is at a slope you can kind of tell that it's sloping and it actually turned out that the line was straight it's the the outside design was narrower on the right hand side so this is all stuff I have to tweak later on So now that we have it all outlined, I'm going to go in with green and purple. First, I'm going to start with my green. I'm 
And this is um, latex, latex, <laughs> Liquitex Basics. It's very early in the morning here. Uh, you know, I normally like to record early in the morning uh, to try to keep Harley, my African Grey, from talking because she tends to be quieter in the morning. Not always, but generally she's pretty quiet. And right now she's she's quiet. She's playing in her, I call it a clubhouse. She has a box on the top of her cage. And she doesn't like it when you look inside of it. So it's her little private clubhouse. She gets very upset. She runs out and stares at you when you try to look in her in her box. Anyway, she's in there playing right now. So anything that keeps her, her quiet. So we're just painting uh, part of the design green and then the other part we're going to be painting purple. But you could paint in whatever colors you wanted. I kind of debated between purple and green or more of a rainbow effect but since it is Mardi Gras I decided to just go with the purple green and gold oh and I, I'm using Liquitex basics this is uh, I think bright green is the color I'm using and it's really translucent so it took a couple of layers to get it this uh, this bright on against that black background so now I'm taking purple and what's on the palette is probably a little bit closer to the real color. Um, my cameras don't like to pick up purple very, very well. They always look a little blue, which is kind of frustrating, but I don't really know how to fix that. If I were to record with my phone, my phone camera is better than the expensive cameras that I use to record with when it comes to picking up the color purple. So we're just going to paint in that the whole design. And now we're going to take some green glitter and go over all the areas that are green with the green glitter. And I'm using the Folk Art Extreme Glitter in green. I think that's what it's called. Oh, emerald. Sorry, it's emerald. And you just want a good solid layer of glitter. You don't, you don't want any kind of bald spots. So it may take a couple of layers. I put it on really thick to try to, so that I can try to do it all in one layer, but sometimes I still have areas that I need to touch up. So now we're taking purple, and I believe it's called just purple. And doing the the purple areas or what look like blue areas on the video <laughs> my nails are still done for Valentine's Day I guess I should have done them in a Mardi Gras theme But it is Heart Healthy Month, so I had originally planned on keeping my nails this color for the rest of the month of February. So again, we're just putting a thick coat of the glitter on. And the glitter doesn't show up very well. Once you, once I get it sprayed, the glitter really pops. But on, it just doesn't show up on camera very well. I 
And this is a rock mold from that I used from the Happy Dotting Company. In case you're wondering where these round rocks come from. So now I'm taking black glitter paint. It's also from Extreme Glitter. All of these are from the Extreme Glitter. Um, I think I bought all of these colors in a set, which is linked down below in the description. The set and all of the individual colors, I believe, are all linked down below. But I'm going to do the whole back background with this, cover it with this black glitter. So every bit of this rock is going to be glittery. So now I'm taking some of the Ivory Black by Liquitex Basics and I'm thinning it down into a glaze and I'm going to glaze on a shadow through the rounded edges, outside edges. Just to create some, some dimension in the design. So I'm going to glaze it on. I've got several videos showing how I do this, but I just thin the paint down with water until it's like a milky consistency. So I'm going to glaze on the shadows, and then I'm actually going to go back over the shadowed areas with black glitter paint. And that way I don't lose any of the glitter pattern. Because when I glaze over it with the Liquitex Basics, it dulls down the glitter. And you can't see it through that part of the design. And I didn't like the way that looked. So I wanted the shadowing effect, but I didn't want to lose the glitter effect. So I will go back over this with some glitter. So now here is where I'm going over it with the glitter. And it's kind of hard to tell that this is black because it goes on kind of a milky white color. And as it dries, it'll dry black. And I think that's just a binder that kind of holds the glitter in place. And it's tinted black. And in some areas, I had to go over it a couple of times with this glitter. So now I'm just cleaning up my lines with the rose gold, even though I am going to end up going over the rose gold with gold glitter. So I am being a little bit more careful with my lines on this pass so that I don't have to clean, do any kind of clean up against the background or the colors just because then I'm going to have to go with paint and then glitter again 
and do the whole process. So now here's where I'm going over all of my outlines with the gold glitter and it's also extreme glitter in gold. The color is just gold. And I just did one thick coat I believe for the glitter so there were some bald spots in it but that's okay I was okay with that Now I am going back with the black glitter and just hitting a couple of spots that I thought needed to be a little bit darker. And now to sign my name. It's always important to sign your artwork. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like once it has been sprayed. The rock is shiny just due to the glitter, but here it has been sprayed with a triple thick glaze by Rust -Oleum. This is out of a spray can not the paint on kind. And then I'm going to show you a picture here in a second of the actual rock and the true color. So that's what the actual color of the rock is. And if you're interested in purchasing any of my rocks, my Etsy shop is now open. And I want to thank all of my Patreon supporters. Without them, this channel would not be possible. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell so that you're notified for future video uploads. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.